string of success that we've had, but we've all been so fortunate, uh, especially for myself, to be a very small part of. Uh, I certainly see that continuing in 2010. Jimmy? I think we'll go 9-2. and two. I, I look for us to, that's what I said a year ago, I felt like we'd beat Grand Valley. I remember saying that during this forum last year. But playing Grand Valley, as you say, uh, that might be their first game of the year because they traditionally only play 10 games. No, they're playing West Texas. Uh, they're going to play at West Texas? Well, good. Yeah. Yeah. They got them at home yeah. at Grand Valley. But, but anyway, beyond that, there's one thing that, I, that we haven't talked about at all that I think it's important for all the fans to recognize. For years, Hillsdale has been the hunter looking for victories. Don't think this year that Hillsdale isn't the hunted. Right. Because there's going to be a lot of people looking to get Hillsdale knocked off. Good point. Yep, it's true. Uh, they're not going to surprise anybody. And uh, frankly, uh, that, that has really become a cliche in this division because the GLIAC is so tough that you can't, if you ever get surprised, you're going to lose a lot of games. It's just from one week to the next, guys, this conference is brutal. It's tough from top to bottom. Now, I know we've got some new teams that it may take them a while to assimilate to the talent level at the GLIAC. Frankly, I don't know. But they're kind of wild cards in this discussion. But for the rest of the GLIAC teams, it has been a real battle, and uh, they play very, very tough football. I want to go to Andy Losick before we let him go. Um, Andy, you run an incredible website, chargerblue.com. We do the best we can to promote it here, but uh, you frankly have uh, people logging onto your website from all over the country and in some cases all over the world. Tell our listeners who've never visited your website what they're going to find at chargerblue.com. Well, they're going to find uh, a real comprehensive look at the Chargers. Uh, I do a weekly podcast called The Charger Comet and uh, had several of you guys uh, join me on that, which is uh, which has been an honor, um, you know. And I try to write from the perspective of a fan, uh, the perspective of, of an alum, uh, perspective of a of a former player, and and basically I'm doing it uh, for these guys and their families. And what's neat is that ChargerBlue.com started off as just a page of links to what little internet information about Hillsdale football was available back in uh, 1998, I think is when I started it. And now it's really become a community. I'm a technology teacher, and so I'm pretty tuned in to uh, what's happening with social networks and stuff and really been able to harness some of that stuff, like the Facebook and Twitter. And we've got 768 members of the uh, chargerblue.com Facebook group. And man, that's, that's, over half of what the student body at Hillsdale College is. And so uh, it's neat to see all kinds of people, uh, whatever their connection to Hillsdale College is, uh, find that page, find the site, uh, keep you updated. Uh, anything that's going to be printed uh, about the Chargers um, through many news outlets, I usually link to that, but I have my own perspective. Uh, give pregame um, kind of previews every week on the podcast. We wrap up uh, the way that uh, the previous – day went or the previous week went and so um but it's really an honor for me to uh it's just my way that i can contribute to the program as a player i was the guy that uh, i did my contributions monday pretty much through friday uh, through thursday on scout team and that kind of thing and and I, I learned a lot from there i learned that you can be part of a great organization and help that organization succeed but not necessarily be the guy on the field and and, you know, if I can promote Hillsdale College and Charger football any way that I can through chargerblue.com, then it makes me feel like I'm just a little bit of helping that organization succeed. Well, I'll tell you, it's become an indispensable resource for Charger football fans uh, to, to go with what Brad does on the Hillsdale College football website. Uh, of course, Brad's got a bunch of other varsity sports that he has to write about as well, so it's a great supplement to Brad's stuff that he does. When am, when am I going to see you at your first Charger game this year, Losa? Oh, we're bringing, bringing a family down, or at least uh, Mrs. Charger Blue and I are coming down <laughs> for some Friday night lights. Uh, might have to stop and uh, win, some, win some money in Battle Creek on the way. but uh, Make sure you stop in and say hi. Yeah, oh, I, I definitely will. I, I always appreciate... Um, coming to Muddy Water Stadium and the great job that Brad does up there in the press box. Um, 
there are other places in this league, and, and not to mention any names, Allendale, that they think that they're just a little too big time. And uh, when you go to a Hillsdale College to cover a game or to be part of that atmosphere, you know, everybody's welcome. You're, you're always treated with respect, and it's, uh, and it's a privilege to go up and see you guys and uh, hop over there, see Dan and uh, Jim and, and everybody, uh, you know, that's basically doing the same thing, just just sharing this great thing called Hillsdale football. You know, the biggest Twitterer that I know is Jim Eckert. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I twiddle around all the time. <laughs> Eck, you're on there all the time, aren't you? Oh, man, am I a Twitter? I, I, I've got Twitter thumbs. Yeah, I know you do. Uh, for Andy Losick, uh, Dan Beischer, who will be uh, doing uh, the road games with us this year and also the home TV stuff on the uh, B2 Network, Brad Monastier, the Sports Information Director at Hillsdale College, does a wonderful job, and, of course, the Hall of Famer, Jim Eckert. Uh, my name is Andy Brown. We thank you for tuning in.